what is going on everybody i know the videos are a little bit hit or miss right now so is the weather the weather is someday 60 degrees someday it is 15 degrees so today it is a gorgeous day i'm going after work and i'm trying a new spot here in northern virginia new to me uh it's a delayed harvest area here called uh, agatin creek uh it was just docked yesterday with browns and rainbows we're gonna see if we can pull out of here, and I'm really hoping that this place is not insanely packed. But being Northern Virginia, I'm expecting it to be insanely packed. My biggest hope is that people aren't out here poaching them, and if that's the case, hopefully the Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries have, you know, watched this place at least a little bit because it's late harvest. It's only catch and release, and it's only artificial lures, so. You know, at least nobody's gonna be just sitting there with power bait in the water. Let's see if we can get on. Let's do this. Oh. There we go. There's a fish. Oh, gorgeous rainbow. I was beginning to wonder if I was in the right spot or not. All right, let's pop this guy off. Hands nice and wet for this guy. All right, buddy. Northern Virginia trout. We like you. We love you. You're gorgeous. Let's see you, buddy. All right, off he goes. Beauty, beauty, beauty. That hit when I was not expecting. I was kind of looking the other way, and well, it seems to be how a lot of it goes. I also need to change my camera angle here. I'm realizing I'm not the wide lens. There's the wide lens. <laughs> That's helpful. Okay. Um, well, now that I know that there are fish in here, I guess I can talk about my setup a little bit more. Um, using my Fluger President six pound test uh, mono filament. Mono? Fluoro. Fluoro. I forget. Uh, five and a half foot ugly stick. And I'm using a rooster tail with a gold spinner. And it is a single point hook for quick, easy release. Oh, boy, oh days. That felt good to get a fish on. Not a terrible looking creek. Now I'm sure I would be in a much less complimentary mood had I not just caught a fish. I'd be like, this place is terrible. It's not my type of fishing. I'd probably be complaining to some extent, but that's okay. I caught a fish. Your boy's a happy man on a Wednesday. Right, to anybody who's never said they've never played Spider-Man with a fishing pole, you're a liar. Oh, stung one. All right. That's a really nice fish. All right. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna let him play a little bit, tire himself out as I jump back down into this hole to get him. Oh, he's a big brown. Big brown. Yep, everybody, this is part of the fishing story. Going in after a fish to swim for it. Welcome to Vito Fishing Stories.
I was just saying, I haven't caught a brownie all year. Man, he's gorgeous. All right, buddy. <laughs> See you, man. Very cool. He's good. He's swimming off. He's swimming under that log right there. He's good. He's going. Ooh, baby. All right. So, yeah, we had to dive back into the water to make sure we landed him. Beauty. Uh, if you noticed, I switched back to a treble hook. Not too bad at lip damage there. It is what it is. Uh, easy enough release. I can't recommend enough to anybody. Bring hemostats. I lost my hemostats. If anybody finds them, please send them to me. But I have needle nose pliers. So it's a good backup. <laughs> Did you catch this fish? Did you catch this fish? It's delayed harvest. It's, del it's delayed harvest. You can't catch him, man. You can't keep. It's delayed harvest. All right, so this is probably going to be a little bit of an issue. It's also artificial. It's artificial lures, too. It's delayed harvest artificial lures. Yeah. Yeah, dude, it's it's delayed harvest and artificial lures only, man. What's up? Yeah, you can only use artificial lures, dude. Uh, you can't use bait here. I it's power bait, man. You can't you can't keep the fish here. It's delayed harvest. Delayed harvest. This guy right here, fishing with power bait, and he's keeping. I don't have any authority. I'm leaving because I'm not looking for trouble, but maybe, just maybe, send out an officer to make sure people aren't poaching or overkeeping. Maybe. Either way, fun little trip out here will be coming back um sun is setting this place closes at dusk so i'm not trying to be out here running into any trouble or anything so we're gonna call it a day man so man feel incredibly blessed rainbow and a brown trout both of really nice size especially that brownie um i hope you all have a wonderful day out there keep fishing tight lines and remember, even Jesus had a fishing story.